Hey, what's up? Welcome to Offshore Audio. I'm Andrew, I'm a live sound engineer, and on this channel, I'm helping you to mix better live events. I get a lot of questions about like, why do I have no sound? Or why do I only have sound in one channel? Or questions to that effect, right? And there are so many variables between plugging in a microphone and getting it out of the speaker on a mixer. That I can't possibly answer these questions without knowing everything about the situation. So I'd much rather empower you to effectively diagnose these problems and fix them yourself because you're totally capable of it. You just need to follow a logical process. So I'm going to give you that process. In this video, we're going to take a look at the signal path, where the microphone comes in and all of the places where we might lose that signal or not get the correct signal along the way, all the way to the speakers. I'm going to show you on an M32 mixer, but the practice of following the signal applies to literally any mixer. You just need to find the right buttons to press to find the information that I'm telling you here. Once you're up and running, you're going to need EQ to make your show sound great. So I have a gift for you. That is my three-step guide to perfect EQ. Free PDF guide that just details three steps that I always take to get great EQ on my shows, whether it's channel EQ or full system EQ, I use this technique every time. You can get that by heading to the link in the description down below or heading to offshoreaudio.no forward slash EQ. But without further ado, let's take a look at the mixer, shall we? Okay, so we're going to follow a signal path here and I'll show you just the troubleshooting steps that you need to take to make sure that you rule out any problem and you get your sound playing. So I'm going to use an iPad playing some music here, right, through a mini jack. You could use a microphone, no matter what you use, the steps remain the same. The first thing you want to do is if you've got a playback device like this, right, or even if it's a microphone, you need to make sure that this cable is connected securely. So you make sure that it's connected securely on all ends. I have a mini jack here connected to this iPad. It goes into a DI box here. It's connected securely. The other side of this DI box is securely connected and it goes into an input channel on the back of this mixer here. We're connected securely. We need to make sure that our music is playing to test this, right? Or there is sound coming into the microphone or the instrument that you have connected up, right? We also need to make sure if we're using a playback device like this or a keyboard, anything like that, that the volume is turned up. If there's no volume coming out of this, it's not gonna make it to the mixer. So we'll double check we've got volume coming out of the iPad and the iPad is connected to a physical input on the mixer. Next, we need to think, where do we expect this sound to come in? I want it in this fader here, but for some reason, I don't have any sound. There's no signal coming in here. When I turn this fader up, there's no sound. Next step, we need to make sure that the physical input on the back of the mixer is being sent to this fader channel. That this fader channel that we expect to hear sound on is receiving sound from the physical input, the place we connect it to in real life. There are different ways to do this on each mixer. This is not a video about an X32 mixer, but on this mixer, I would select the channel and I would go to the configuration section. On any other mixer, you would go to the input section and you'd try and find out, and it would tell you where it's getting the sound from, right? So right now this says it's getting the sound from B01. I know that that is not where my sound is coming from. My sound is coming from the back side of this mixer. So at this point, I just need to go and double check my routing. So I know that this is on my third fader bank here, and it is using, it is using the first XLR and the local inputs on the back here. So I need to make sure that my local inputs, my channels 17 to 24, so this is my channel 17 here, they are being fed sound from the local inputs, that is the physical XLRs on the back of this mixer. So I click local one to eight. I can then go back to my channel, select it, and double check that my input source now is input one on the back of this mixer. So I know that that input is set correctly. What if I still don't have any sound? Then you can solo the channel, right? So now when you solo this channel, you should be able to hear it on the headphones and see it on the meters to confirm whether you're getting any sound. If you still don't have any sound, if you still don't have any sound on your headphones or on the meters here, is the gain turned up? Turn the gain up. If you still don't have an adequate signal level coming in, even though you've adjusted your gain, it's time to ask yourself, is this running through a DI box or a condenser microphone? Does that require phantom power? Readjust your gain down, turn your phantom power on, ensure if it's a DI box that you have a light on your DI box. That means that we know that phantom power is reaching this DI box and you can then adjust your gain up. And you see here on my meters here and my meters here, I now have input on this channel. That's fantastic, right? So I know now that everything from 
this iPad up until the input channel works. So if there is not any sound appearing for whatever reason out of my speakers, I know that it is not the iPad, it's not the DI box, and it's not the input routing. I've got headphones that I can use. I can listen to this input channel to confirm that the sound is coming in undistorted. So that is all good up until now, it's all gravy. Next thing we want to do is we want to turn our fader up. Huh, there's still no sound. Why could that be? Is the channel muted? The channel is in fact muted. So now we know that the channel is turned up and unmuted. What about our next step? Well, obviously now we expect it to go to the master, so we should be able to turn our master up. Is our master turned up? Our master is not turned up. So we need to make sure that our master is unmuted and that the master is turned up. We still don't have any sound. Why is that? Let's look at our master bus here. We can even solo it. But you see, there's nothing going into our master bus. Why is that? So now we see that we have input on this channel, right? Our fader is up, but for some reason it's not going to our master bus. Why could that be? And that comes down to the internal routing of the mixer, right? And this is valid on any mixer that you work with, not just this mixer. This channel here has not been sent to the main left, right? I do that with this little button here. So I'm going to take my fader down again, and I'm going to press this button here, main stereo. Now this button is available on any console. You need to make sure that your input channel, that's this channel here that is receiving the sound from the back of the mixer from this input. We need to make sure that it is sent to this main left, right bus. Now if I turn it up, you hear the sound. I could even turn this fader down. And if I turn it up, so now I can also turn this up and I've just muted the outputs right now, but you should also be able to see the signal coming into your master bus here. And if you solo your master bus, you will see that as input and you can listen to it on the headphones. So we know at this point that everything from our iPad to our DI box is coming into our input channel and it is now making it to our master bus. What if you are using a channel on the stage through a stage box? You need to then take a couple of extra steps. You need to ask yourself, is the stage box connected correctly? You need to look at your stage box. You need to make sure that it is turned on. You need to make sure that it is connected securely with the correct standard of cable. So that's probably a CAT6 cable, a shielded CAT cable, but you need to double check that it's correctly connected. And you need to make sure on your mixer that you're registering the stage box connected to the correct port on your mixer. You need to make sure that that stage box is talking to your mixer and then you can check your routing step again. Just go back and work through all of those steps again. Ask yourself, is the channel receiving sound from the stage box channels as expected? But let's get back to where we were. What if you turn it up and you see that there's sound in the meters on your main output, but you still don't hear any sound? Now you need to ask yourself, where does this sound come out of the mixer again? You need to go there and make sure there's a secure connection from the output of the mixer to the speakers. If you are absolutely positive that there's a secure connection from the stage box or from the mixer to the amplifiers or the speakers, then you need to double check that this master bus here is being routed to those outputs. So if we connected output one and two to the speakers, we need to make sure that this main master bus here, this fader here is set up to send the sound out of one and two. So we go to our routing screen, whether that is on this mixer or another mixer, you need to find the routing for the output for this fader. And I need to go to output one and two here, and then I need to select the main left and right signals. So that is my main fader, left and right. They are now coming out of output one and two. And so that means when I turn this up, the sound comes out of the speakers now because I know that my sound is coming from my laptop, from my iPad, through the DI box, into the mixer, into the channel. We know it was going to the master bus, okay? We saw the signal on the meters. So then we knew that the problem lay after the meters here. That means the somewhere where the sound is not leaving this fader and going to the desired place. So we checked that our connections were secure. And then we checked to make sure that this fader was coming out of the intended connections. And it turned out it wasn't, so we had to change that. If these outputs happen to be on a stage box, you need to make sure that that stage box is connected with the correct cable, turned on and receiving signal from your mixer. 
What if there's still no sound? Even though you've turned up, you've double checked that everything is connected securely and you've double checked that the correct sound is coming out of the correct outputs on your stage box or on the back of your mixer. Are your speakers passive or are they active? If they're active, are they turned on? If they are passive, is the amplifier turned on? And is there a secure connection from the speaker to the amplifier? If you're checked all of this, you know that sound is coming into your amplifier. Is the amplifier turned up? Is the speaker turned up? If you've checked everything so far and you still don't have any sound, take a speaker, any little speaker, any powered speaker, double check that that speaker works by connecting something up to it. Now connect your output to that speaker. Double check that you actually get sound out of the output that you have set up correctly. If none of this works, something might be broken. But at this point in our journey, we have checked the signal from our iPad into our DI box, into the input on the back of the mixer. We have gone into our input channel and we have made sure that it is receiving sound from the desired physical input, either on the back of the mixer or on a stage box. We have made sure that our channel is unmuted, turned up. We have made sure that it is being sent to our master bus. We have double checked using the meters that the sound is reaching our master bus. We have double checked the routing to make sure that our master bus is sending sound out of an XLR output on the back of this mixer or on our stage box, one that we intend it to come out of. We have double checked that that XLR is connected to an amplifier or to an active speaker. We have double checked that our amplifier is turned on and turned up or that our active speakers are turned on and turned up. If we still have no sound, we get another active speaker or another speaker set up that we know works and we test it to make sure that all of our routing is correct. If there is still no sound, then something is broken, most likely after the mixer. Because if you get, if you see these meters here moving, it's more than likely that you are sending the sound out of this. So just remember to double check everything and do it in this order. Don't skip a step. Don't think you're clever and that you've definitely got everything right. Double check everything methodically because even the best forget to check a step and then they go back and it turns out there was no phantom power on their DI box. Or it turns out that the cable was broken or it turns out that they simply forgot to plug it in. So you can see that you kind of need to know how the routing works on your mixer for this to work. So I'll leave a video up here to an in-depth guide on the routing on X32 and M32. I'll also leave a couple of videos around about that help you get a system set up as well so that you have everything you need with these videos to get going and mix shows. Leave me a comment if that was helpful. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more of this stuff. But for now, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.